Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Victor again with my Ionic 5. Today's video will be part 2 of how to use auto regen, focusing more on real world usage. Let's start it off with how to control auto regen. The first way is to manually toggle it with the paddles when in auto regen. Number two is to automatically let the car's system break for you using the sensors. So with the first way you'll see I have no one ahead of me and I need to start slowing down. So that means auto regen is not going to do anything so I need to do it manually toggling the paddles through auto regen. Now as I reach the point of needing to come to a full stop, I have to manually hold the left paddle in to initiate max regen. And as you remember, the car cannot access this level on its own. As I mentioned, the second way is to let the car's system automatically slow you down. You'll see that happening in this clip where auto regen is automatically doing it based on the traffic ahead of me. One thing you'll notice that's very interesting is how smoothly the car's auto regen system kicks in. And that's because it is not stepped. In fact, the auto regen is not bound to our predefined levels like level 1, level 2, or level 3. Auto regen is able to automatically blend or toggle between the levels. And when I mean between the levels, I mean literally between all the levels, meaning between level 1 and 2. For example, level 1.12 or 1.13, 1.14. It's able to do these gradually and progressively so that we experience smooth braking, whereas when we toggle the levels, we're stepping it from level 1 directly to level 2, directly to level 3, so on and so forth. So looking at this chart, you'll see in gentle mode selected, it's able to toggle anywhere between 0.25 and level 3. And then if you select medium, you're locking yourself out of the gentle setting, but that means you have 0.5 up to level 3. And with strong, you're locking yourself out from below that, but from 0 to 0.75 to 3, the auto region system can toggle anywhere between that without having to go to the predefined levels. Same thing with if you actually select level 1 via the paddles in auto region, it's locking you out of everything below, but it's letting the auto region system do everything in between. And you'll see what happens with level 2 and then with level 3. Now, if you're in auto region, but you're controlling it manually via the toggles, then this is the list that you're going to see. Meaning in gentle, when you toggle through the paddles, these are the levels that are accessible to you. You'll be locked into these predefined levels and you'll feel a bit of that herky jerkiness when you do it depending on your braking speed or deceleration. And here is another way to look at it, meaning from gentle, you have gentle all the way to level three. And if you toggle up in the system setting menu and you change it to medium, then all of a sudden you only have medium to level three. And then if you switch it to strong, then you only have strong to level three. And if you select level one, then you only have level one, level two and level three, and so on and so forth. The interesting thing here is what happens when you select level 3 in auto regen. Because if you remember, the regen system cannot go above a level 3. And in this case, you're locking it out of everything below level 3. So then what's happening? Well, from what I understand and from my use case, it feels like it's just locking you into level 3. And so it's not doing anything. So to me, auto regen in level 3 is exactly the same as being in manual regen level 3. It's just going to use level 3 regen braking as you call for it, but it's not going to vary it or change it using the car system. And you should be seeing some clips here where I demonstrate that I have locked myself into auto regen level 3 and I let go of the accelerator and it just starts decelerating. Now typically in auto regen we're expecting that the system can vary the regen so that if it senses nothing in front it'll try to let us coast. But again, if you have this setting selected, you're telling it to lock into level three and it can't do that. So I know I've explained quite a bit between this video and the previous one, and maybe auto regen just seems like this huge confusing thing. Well, let me try to simplify it for you. Auto regen is kind of like a mashup between one pedal driving and HDA's adaptive cruise control. Now, auto region allows one pedal driving in many driving scenarios, and auto region also provides automatic braking in many driving scenarios. But as we know, there are limitations. 
meaning with auto regen, with one pedal driving, it will not operate below six miles per hour. So for stop and go traffic, or just for scenarios where you need to come to a complete stop, you're going to have to manually step in or intervene to bring your car to a full stop. But on the flip side, it provides so much more. It provides the ability to almost coast, to not get stuck with a heavy pedal feel like iPedal, and it provides a more driving, more efficient driving style than iPedal. So these are huge benefits over just standard one pedal driving in iPedal. Now in terms of auto regen providing automatic braking, we know that auto regen does not provide braking force above level three regen. So that means when you're coming to a slowdown, you have to figure out whether you think the car system has enough time and distance if it has to max out at level three to make that slow down or stop. Now the pros of that are, it's gonna use the sensors to detect vehicles ahead and it will automatically brake for you up to a certain limit. Also, it only uses those sensors for braking, but you can override it or modify the braking amount very easily just by tapping the accelerator pedal. And also, it will not accelerate for you. Typically with HDA on, anytime it senses a car cutting in, it's going to slam on the brakes and try to adjust accordingly. But with auto regen, if I still have my foot on the accelerator, it's not really going to do that sudden stop because I still have control. You'll see a couple of examples here where typically if HDA were on, it would have slammed on the brakes because these cars were cutting in so close and so last minute. But since I saw them coming, I had my foot still on the accelerator pedal holding things steady. But then what about if I have HDA on and someone in front suddenly accelerates and pulls away? Well, typically what will happen is the HDA system will try to catch up to the car ahead. But what if I know that the car in front of the car ahead is already braking? It's one of those scenarios where I can see or I know better than the system because I can see farther ahead. The system's sensors can only detect the car directly in front. It can't see through that car, but I might be able to, and I may want to brake before HDA wants to brake. This is pretty typical of these kinds of systems. They simply cannot see two or three cars ahead or see through a car. But as the actual driver, you have the ability to do that. And with auto regen, you're able to just let go of the accelerator pedal and you immediately get some braking. And like I said before, the auto regen system itself will eventually kick on and start braking for you. But auto regen gives you that split second or two seconds or whatever it is to get braking before HDA would. And that's why I find auto regen to provide a much smoother and much more controllable driving style for medium traffic conditions where you're going to get a lot of cars cutting in and out and weaving through that would typically trigger HDA to slam on the brakes, then accelerate, then slam on the brakes, then accelerate just over and over again. Now I do want to highlight one more thing and that would be the auto regen bar when it's full or maxed out. You may have seen that in some of my clips. This is an option that's only accessible by holding the left paddle in while you're in auto regen. It's essentially an override where no matter what level you are currently in for auto regen, just pulling in and holding the paddle will call up max regen immediately, which feels about the same as iPedal. Now, I don't really consider that a level within auto regen because the car's systems cannot access it automatically. I already mentioned that, that auto regen can only automatically access up to level three. Now you can manually toggle it, but you have to hold in the paddle, like I said, to keep it engaged. So to me, it's really more of a quick temporary override. So that about wraps it up here for auto regen. I hope I've covered enough and explained things well enough where you guys feel comfortable trying it out. Hit me up in the comments section if you have any questions about auto regen, and if you've been using it already, how have you been liking it? Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.